everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Cinema Blography and our roundtable discussion. Today we'll be uh, discussing the Oscar nominations for this year. Um, I'm Sam Ishuma, and uh, you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Mason Lever. I'm one of the assistant editors for the blog, and I write about uh, film auteur theory and uh, film and philosophy. I am Reed Milliken. I'm a writer for Cinema Blography, and I don't have a specific genre that I focus on. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also an assistant editor, and my focus is on horror and psychological thriller. So first off, we'll be talking about uh, the nominations for Best Picture. Mm -hmm. um, who, who'd like to start that off? Uh, so just I'm going to just lay my cards on the table for this discussion. I am cool. placing all of my money behind Power of the Dog uh, mm, yes. uh, yes. for just about if anything <laughs> that it's been nominated for. Um, I think that... Um, we're going to see a lot of uh, awards going that way. I think, especially for Best Picture, I think it's going to win. I think, well, I don't know. You guys can give your picks, and then I'll talk my backups. <laughs> no, it's hard. You stole my bit, because yeah. I was like, oh, Power of the Dog is so good. I saw it recently, and I'm just like, wow, this all really works. So I don't, I don't know. What about you, Reed? Yeah, I, I feel like I kind of started to notice a trend, uh, especially after Parasite, where it's like, if a movie is winning a lot of like the little awards, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then it's probably gonna like sweep a majority of the big awards that it's nominated for. Like I remember Parasite won like it was something like fifty like small like film festival awards before it go went on to win pretty much every Oscar it was nominated for. I have a I have a feeling it's gonna be very similar with uh, Power of the Dog. Mm -hmm. Just personally, yeah. Yeah, I think my only other uh, expectation would be possibly Belfast. Uh, mm. when, I, when I saw Belfast, I saw Belfast before Power of the Dog, and when I saw that, I just was like, oh yeah, this is gonna take it. Um, and now I am not so sure. I still think Belfast is a more approachable film than yeah. Power of the Dog. I think Power of the Dog is a little harder for um, general audiences to get into. Yeah, when um, I saw the trailer for Belfast, I'm like, this is Oscar bait. <laughs> the yeah. story, the sense of community and conflict, and like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is going to get nominated. And sure enough, I don't know. I think in terms of like personal opinion, I hope for Power of the Dog, just because of like all of its incredible story elements and performances. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't know. I feel like we're like ignoring the other films. Yeah, yeah. I I'll pull up the full list. We can kind of talk through yeah. um, uh, each one as as we go. So um, we have all the nominations this year uh, for Best Picture, Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, The Power of the Dog, and West Side Story. Um, a lot of nominees this year. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think some were surprised. I was surprised to see Don't Look Up on there, and I was surprised to see Dune on there. Mm -hmm. um, I, Dune, uh, was good, but I didn't think it was best picture material. <laughs> but uh, you know, Denis Villeneuve is a, a, a really big inspiration for me, so I was mm. still glad to see him recognized. But right. it was like only a first part of a movie, you know? Um, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Like I finished it and I was like, oh, that's it. Like I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I wasn't real big on Dune. I, I'm hoping that I'll like it once the second part comes mm -hmm. out and I can go back and like watch it yeah. with that new context. I think everything that it's been nominated for, for like visual effects mm -hmm. or like sound editing oh, yeah, yeah. or like, mm -hmm. like costume or like makeup, like mm -hmm. sure, I, I think it deserves all that. Yeah. But like, I don't know, best film or like, I think uh, he got it for best director too. He got a nomination. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I just, I, yeah, I wasn't completely sold on either of those nominees. I would, uh, I would not be surprised at all if it takes a lot of the more uh, technical or like, you know, special effects related right, yeah, yeah. Oscars. Um, and then um, don't look up, I just, like, I don't know, I, I don't, I think it's some of McKay's, like, worst work yeah, in recent I, memory. It's very approachable, it's mm -hmm. a very popular movie, um, but in terms, comparing it to, like, his recent stuff with Vice and with The Big Short, I just don't think it lives up. Yeah, that's um, the thing, is, like, how much is approachability going to, like, tie into all of this? Because mm -hmm. I think of films like Nightmare Alley, like, I personally enjoyed that film, mm -hmm. But in terms of like story and kind of like what you get from it at the end, as you said, as an audience member, it's not something that people are really going to appreciate as oh. much as like other films. Really, I, yeah. I kind of would disagree there. I thought Nightmare Alley was a pretty general audience movie. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's a little like it was definitely advertised as a horror movie. You know? 
know? Yeah, but I don't and think it really was a horror movie once you get into it. No, it definitely took a different turn than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. But I, I do think, like, that struck me as one of the more general audience ones mm -hmm. uh, of this year. Um, I, I do think, think of movies oh, like ahead. Dune. Yeah. Like, that's the mm -hmm. one where I'm like, that's the most agreeable movie that I've heard. Like, most of the people that I've talked to about nominations and movies generally of last year, that was the one that was mentioned the most. Mm -hmm. I'm just like... I think, like you said, it will get those smaller categories, but I don't think it'll hit the jackpot, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, wouldn't, nah, I don't know. I, I don't think Nightmare Alley will be taking much. Um, mm. I, I do think, just weirdly, a, a little bit of a trend I've seen this year for films in general is just like directors not bringing their A game, I feel like. Mm. Um, I mean, you had The French Dispatch with Wes Anderson, and I thought that was definitely not his strongest work. You had Paul Thomas Anderson with Licorice Pizza, and I also feel that was one of his weaker films. Mm. And then you have Don't Look Up with Adam McKay. I would even say Dune for uh, Denis Villeneuve. I, I think Dune is a very, very strong film. I don't think there's a lot wrong with it, but I think you know, Denis Villeneuve is just such a strong filmmaker, I think. Um, yeah, I think he tackles the smaller yeah. stories better. Like when mm -hmm. I look back, like Enemy, I feel like is really good. You know, Prisoners, I feel like is still like relatively like pretty like contained yeah. in mm -hmm. its own world. I don't know. I think Dune is like it, it was too big of like a. I, I mean, he did a good job. Mm -hmm. I I wasn't a huge fan of it, but a lot of people like it. Mm -hmm. But I just I feel like I don't know. He does better with smaller stories rather than the yeah. the Dune, big. Dune was a pretty big departure for him. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean. Um, to, to get back to sort of our, our um, predictions, I do think, I don't see any flaws with Power of the Dog mm -hmm. in the same way. Like it, it's a very slow story, but I think it was such an interesting character study. And you know, I mean, f my, my prediction for best actor is definitely gonna be Benedict Cumberbatch. I think he just brought it. And um, I mean, Kirsten Dunst was amazing as well. Um, and uh, I, I just see, probably most of the, like, I don't want to say more important, but the more popular uh, awards are probably going to go that direction. Yeah. Yeah, I think the thing with, like, directors not bringing their A game, you'd think they might have more of a story to tell or at least more time to craft something, especially with COVID mm -hmm. and, like, <laughs> being locked inside. I don't know, I feel like more ideas can come from that and kind of seeing the opposite, I feel like, is an interesting outcome but yeah i definitely agree with yeah. power of the dog i just think with its story and its yeah. deep characters and its wonderful performances and its atmosphere mm -hmm. oh my gosh its atmosphere i just uh, enjoy it so much just by like despite it being a slow burn that's not usually a type of movie that i go for mm -hmm. but yeah it's great yeah um so one other category I'd like to talk about is uh, Best Director. Um, I also think Jane, Jane Campion is going to be taking it for Power of the Dog for this. Um, I think um, Spielberg, I don't see it for West Side Story. I, don't, I definitely don't see it for Paul Thomas Anderson for uh, Licorice Pizza. But I want to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I could kind of see it for, for uh, Kenneth Branagh for, for Belfast. But I agree. I think Jane Campion. I think whenever you see like a, whenever it's a best picture nominee, but then you're also getting like, the two lead actors are also getting nominated for like, the best um, actor or actress mm -hmm. in their roles. I feel like like that's how you kind of know, like that's whenever they're gonna get a, a best director, either win or at least like runner up, mm -hmm. just because it's up there. But like Jane Campion, I think this was her first like feature film in like over 10 years, I think, mm -hmm. or if not close to it, which is like, I feel like that's pretty impressive to come out from a, 10-year hiatus and then direct something that's, you know, won all these awards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can almost call it like a return to form, which is really interesting. Yeah, yeah I think um, I could see Kenneth Branagh just for his ability to pull performances out of these child actors that he worked with, mm -hmm. which were by far the best part of the movie. But I don't know if that will be enough. Like that was just the most impressive part of his direction mm -hmm. uh, to me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think Jane Campion seems like the safe pick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I just think Spielberg is like not, he's, he's there, but he's not really going to be considered. I just think there's so many other technical elements that maybe he 
they're like more creative minds in like a musical movie like that, where in terms of like staging, mm -hmm. choreography, and things like that, where I think like a story like Power of the Dog, it, it's more intimate and there's more like mm -hmm. really personal choices that a director mm -hmm. has to make. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the, they just saw that Steven Spielberg directed a movie and just immediately greenlit it to <laughs> all the nominations. Uh, yeah. Best director, <laughs> throw it on the list. I personally, I personally haven't seen it, but like I haven't heard amazing things about it, and it just seems to be a pretty like, I don't know, run of the mill. It doesn't seem to be uh, very special. I don't even cards. think it was the best musical of the year. I think yeah. Tick, Tick, Do Tick Tick Boom was better. Yeah, yeah. Tick Tick and Boom. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that was definitely up there for for musical. Um, and Bo Burnham's Inside, if you want to call it a musical, but yeah, I don't know because that wasn't like a feature film mm -hmm. right. per se, but yeah. Uh, one other thing I just wanted to discuss briefly before we wrap up here is um, any any picks that we wish we had seen uh, nominated for something. Any any surprises or like you know was there anything you would have liked to see differently? Yeah, I at least for me there was a movie called The Fallout that kind of like it came out right at the end of last year mm -hmm. in theaters and then I didn't get a chance to see it until it came out on HBO Max mm -hmm. uh, I think in February but I was really impressed I think that should have been nominated for a uh, for a best screenplay mm -hmm. I, I was really happy like with with the writing I think like I think it's really hard for uh, you know people who are in the generations above us to capture the dialogue that we that we like that people of our age share with each other and it usually almost always comes off as cringy mm -hmm. and I was like really impressed that they were able to like say the exact same things but then for whatever reason like I just I found it funny rather than than cringy and I think a lot of the emotion that was captured uh, in the dialogue of that movie it, it helped that they had some really good actors at the helm too but mm -hmm. like I think that the dialogue was what uh, made that movie for me hmm. I think one thing that like tells me that they're not that like the people who nominate these movies aren't trying to go for like strictly audience appeal is like Spider-Man No Way Home only getting special effects. Like I saw a lot of things online where people are like, all oh, these performances are so good. Like Willem Dafoe has to yeah. get nominated, and it's just like, I'm I'm glad they they st stuck with their yeah. guns and I, looked at some better options. Yeah, I mean, I I'm even surprised they got nominated for best visual effects. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was especially impressive, and I mean, I I saw Spider-Man No Way Home and I thought it was really obvious that these people were not wearing their costumes and that. I mean, sometimes they weren't even in the same room as one another. They mm -hmm. just sort of had one actor say their dialogue and the other actor say their dialogue, and yeah. then they just mashed the two together. Mm -hmm. um, but, y you know, whatever. I guess some people were happy to see it. Um, mm -hmm. One uh, film I was really disappointed to not see nominated for anything, I think, is The Last Duel. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that that was one of my favorite films of the year. I think that it was... Um, just we do not see a lot of films like that such a large scale and like a long movie mm -hmm. I think Dune is comparable but I feel like um, The Last Duel was a much more character driven and sort of like I don't know more important film in a lot of ways just with um, the, the content that it addressed and also just the performances were really strong and it, it was just a real letdown to not see it recognized for much at all. I, I really would have put it as, I mean, maybe, I, I definitely think it should have been nominated for Best Picture. I think it could have been my favorite movie of the year over Power of the Dog. I haven't really been thinking about it so much because yeah, it wasn't nominated, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I thought it was a real disappointment to not see that there. Um, yeah, now that you mentioned that, I guess one that I think of, I'm sure it's not at the same caliber as some of movies that have been picked, but Pig mm. is just a movie that I personally enjoyed. It was one of my top picks for the year, especially like with Nick Cage. As as much as we as people make fun of Nick Cage, I think he really pulled it off for that character and I think the relationships that were in there were just so intricate and interesting that I think I mean there are so many different elements that go into something like that. And I I think it could have been at least considered for something. I'm not sure, but that's just something that I thought of as you were mentioning the last duel. I'm mm -hmm. like, something that was underappreciated, I think. Not the same scale, but similar. Yeah. 
Well, I think it's about time for us to wrap it up here. But uh, mm -hmm. thank you for joining us. And uh, for more from Cinema Blography, you can tune back in here. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.